Hey guys, how's it going? I am Sentient Anomaly and today I want to show you a game which is more than a game, it's more like a learning tool. It's called Influent. Now, I don't know if you have been following my channel, if you have, then you probably already know, but for those that don't know, I have been living in Japan now for about three and a half months, almost four, and uh, so I'm learning Japanese. At the moment I am self-studying, but I'm supposed to start at, like a real course, like a real language course for two years, uh, but that starts in April, so until then I'm self-studying at the moment. I got my books and everything, I've got a lot of material, but I also find more entertaining ways to learn Japanese and this game is one of those more fun ways. This game is not gonna teach you the grammar or it's not gonna make you be able to speak Japanese but it's a good, it's a, it's a fun integration if you're also learning Japanese seriously from other sources. So, I'm gonna show you what it, what it does. Basically this game just teaches you nouns mostly and also some verbs and adjectives. It doesn't teach you conjugations, so you only will learn like the base form of a verb, if anything. Uh, but it's still useful. I mean, I, I honestly feel like I've been learning, I've, I've been expanding my vocabulary, you know. So you have this little duty here, and you can move around in third person, but I find it easier in first person. So this is your house, basically. It's not very big, you know, and uh, you just have like the... I don't know, the, your room, basically your bedroom, the kitchen, and the living room, and then you have a little bathroom, you can interact with stuff, you can open things, well, mostly that's the only thing you can do, you can't turn things on and off, you can just open stuff to find more stuff inside, right? And this is how the game works, you click on something, you got and it tells you how to pronounce it, and it also shows you how it's written and in the case so I'm doing Japanese right but this game actually you can you can buy different languages like you can buy the languages you want to learn so for example for Japanese you have different writing methods so right now we're displaying the kana which will be either hiragana or katakana so right now if you can see here there at the bottom it's it's kana that I mean that's hiragana but you can also use uh, romanji which would be you know um, Matto. Just Roman letters. And you can also use. Wait. Uh, Matto. There should be, Kabe. Okay, you can also use kanji, which for now I'm not using because, first of all, it's kind of written very small. And second, I'm not so advanced Kabe. that I need to learn the, kan like, the kanji for each of these things. So I'm sticking to. I'm sticking to kana. So this is how the game works. You just click on things, Pan. and it tells you the name, and it shows you how it's written. And then if you double click it, Pan. Uh, you know it. It might also give you like additional uh, related terms. Like the, in this case, we got an adjective, but sometimes you also get uh, a verb. Let's see here, for example. Sandwich. So in this case, you get a verb. Sometimes you get all three. And uh, for each. For each noun, I mean, not always, but most of the times you have multiple uh, multiple ways of saying the same item, right? So you can choose... Sandoichi. Sando. Well, these two is very similar, but let's try... Let's try something, I don't know. Bo -bo -bo. Shokubutsu. Okay, this only has one. I'm sure there's many that have Nabe. a couple. Yeah. For example, the, the plate. Sara. Nope. Okay, so for example, the window, right? So you have, you can either you can call it window, I mean, either you can call it mado, mado, or window, window, which is basically the English adaptation in in Japanese. They have a lot of this in Japanese. They have a lot of basically borrowed terms from English, which actually makes it kind of easier to learn. Um, mado. In fact, for you can choose which one of the two you wanna pref you wanna use for learning for the test I'm gonna show you how that works in a second so for many of these uh, for many of these items I'm like prioritizing the in the English borrowed pronunciation because of course that's easier but I reckon that once I've learned all of the English you know English borrowed terms I will switch and also learn the, 
the more complicated Japanese one. So basically, you don't. I mean, once you are, uh, once you think like you want to learn something. So let's say the window, right, is Mado. Mado. So you say you you click here. We I've already done it. So let me do it with the, with an item I never tried before. Let me close this. Okay, so the broom. I haven't studied the broom yet, right? So let's Hoki. see. If I wanna start learning the broom and to be tested later on, I click here, right? And this is this will add it to a list. So it, and it's gonna add it to basically to my collection of words. There is 420 items in total or words that you can learn without counting the multiple pronunciation for the same item. So there is 420 only. It's not too bad considering that this is just a game to expand your vocabulary, it's not for learning how to make phrases. Okay, so now we have a new list. So if you go to here, the vocab, right? So this is a start, it has been put at the, at the top of a new list. And uh, you can see I already have 17 more lists of stuff that I have already learned. And. Um, so once you have a full list of terms, you can like test it. So let's see. And you can also choose like, okay, don't show me the text or don't show me the audio or the hints. Although I never, I don't know where the hints are. I've never seen them or no translation. Also the translation, I don't know where it is because once you get the testing, once the, the testing starts, I never seen any translation, but whatever. Let's just put normal settings for now. So this is where playing a list right now of 10 terms that we have collected before and we added to this list and uh, they're gonna be played randomly but although I think it puts the newer ones or the ones you haven't successfully memorized yet at the beginning so let's see I might actually have the the ones I don't remember the most first so I might fail the first few ones let's see what happens Shokusenki. Shokusenki. Okay, so Shokusenki should be the dishwasher, right? Let's see. So you double click it. Costa. It was correct. Costa will be this little thing, the coaster, the one that you put at the bottom of the. You, you can zoom as well, but in this case, we, uh, if I click here, it's gonna be the cup. So I have to make sure I put my crosshair on the right item. So this one. Furui. Furui. Okay, so you see, furui in this case is blue. It's not green because this is an adjective. And it also, in parentheses, it also shows you uh, which noun actually it belongs to, which it can help you, like, remember, like, furui, what's furui? And then you read DVD player, and then maybe you remember it more easily. So furui means old. Tatsu. Tatsu. And you can see this one is a verb instead, so it's purple. And uh, it's, it tells you the noun, it's uh, yuka, which means it's the floor. So tatsu is to stand. Kaitekina. Kaitekina. I don't remember this one, but let's see the let's see the um, the noun. So the noun is written in katakana, which means that it's a it's a word borrowed from another language, usually English. So that would be so fu so far so far. Okay, so that I think that means comfortable. Kaitekina. That should be comfortable. Fry pan. Yeah. Fry pan. It's easy. The frying pan. Yawarakai. Yawarakai. I think this means soft, and uh, the noun it belongs to, it's uh, makura, which is the pillow. Su. Su should be, uh, su should be to suck, actually. It belongs to the vacuum. Katai. 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 Let's see what the katakana says. Fry, ah, fry pan. So katai, I think it's hard. Yeah, katai should be should be hard. Saboten. Yeah, saboten is the cactus. Yeah, hundred percent score. Of course, these are words that I already started before. So, Hondana. Once you um. Once you have learned some words, like once you have tested them and guessed them right multiple times you will master them. So this is um, how many words I've mastered. So 168 out of 171, actually should be 170 because one of them, which is the broom, we collected it earlier just to test it. 
So I'm actually only two words away from having mastered every word I collected. I'm not collecting all of the words at once, like I'm trying to master as many as I can and then I add 10 more each time. So more things you can do with this game. Um, for example, once you, I think once you complete like 50 words or whatever, I don't remember how many you have to master, I think you have to master 50, you can go to a random list, no, sorry. You can go to the flyby, which means that you get to use this little thing here. This you can actually fly. I'll show you. It, it's uh, it's kind of useless because it's very hard to to control it and and like play with it. But I'll show you how it works. So first of all, this time we're not gonna do a specific list. We're gonna do a random list, and then we're gonna use this flyby, which literally makes us pilot this toy. Shatsu. Right. Okay, so Shatsu. First of all, I'm gonna think about it because okay, Shatsu is the shirt. So this is gonna be really complicated because I have to fly this to the dresser. I have to open the drawer, and I have to shoot the shirts inside of it. It's gonna. Oof, it's really hard. Like you can go faster, but you cannot break. Oops. Okay, so I managed to open the drawer. Now I have to do like another flyby basically, and then I have to shoot the shirt. Shinbun. Okay. Shinbun is the hat. Oh, what? Wait, Shinbun wasn't the hat? No, Shinbun is. What's Shinbun? Shinbun. Shinbun is the magazine, I think. Shinbun. I think. No, Shinbun. No, no, Shinbun is not the magazine. Shinbun is the newspaper, I think. Shinbun, I think it's the newspaper. Anyways, let's keep going. Fry pan again. See, it's impossible not to crush. You have to, like, you have to approach items from, like, very far and start shooting them in advance. Kutsu. Ah! Kutsu is the shoes. Sandaru. Sandaru is like the sandals, basically. Sakana. Sakana is the fish, so it's in the fridge. Like, I didn't know all of these words before, honestly. I'm trying to open the, the fridge door. This is just a gimmick, by the way, the plane. You don't really have to do it like that. You can open things from far away as well. Toaster. Toaster. Wow, I'm actually not doing bad. Hamigaki. What? To I didn't shoot the toaster. I guess I shot the wall. Hamigaki. I think this is the toothpaste. Uh, this is impossible. It's impossible to fucking select the toothpaste. Okay, this this was just a demonstration. So let's quit that. It's it's just too hard. Oh, you can go first person with the. Uh oh, let's try. Let's try this. Whoa, this is even harder now. Okay, let's try, let's try to shoot the toothpaste. Ah, Banzai! It's impossible. Hamigaki. Okay, you don't have to worry about that. Let's just go back to the normal mode. Hamigaki. I don't even know how to go back to the normal mode. Okay, so. Uh, da, 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 da. So you can actually do Kaiga. everything in third person, but I, I, I find it easier in first person. Machi. Machi is the matches. Not the Tinder matches, just the matches, these matches. Okay, well, so that's pretty much the game. If you wanna be really hardcore, you can just go to like vocab and do like a limitless raid, and that's gonna take ages. I do that actually. I do that like every time I play, I play for about half an hour. Some, I, I usually do like I collect 10 new words, I repeat them a few times, and then I go on limitless raid and I revise all of the words. And this is how I've been learning them. I'll show you something like a little easter egg that you can do. This is your cat, Neko. Anata no Neko. What? Neko. And you can like, if you if you interact with the chair, and you can spin the cat. The, act, the cat is actually quite lifeless. I mean, it doesn't move, it doesn't do anything. It's just a prop, basically, unfortunately. But if you spin the chair, it will meow. Meow. So that's all, guys. So... If you're studying any language, or if you're studying Japanese like me, 
you can find many sources and well this game is one way of learning this is just for extending your vocabulary mostly nouns like i said some adjectives and some verbs without conjugations just to get the basic words memorized you know in a in a in a slightly more fun way rather than reading a book of course you still have to learn in whatever other way you know with books or go to a, an actual language course like i will be doing but yeah this is uh, this is also an option so yeah i hope you like this video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up or subscribe i i release video all the time more or less one video every five or six days and um yeah so my name is Sentient Anomaly, and I will catch you next time. Take care. Sayonara, I guess.